Hello and welcome to the sewing studio. Today is month two of our postcard block, which we're going to put together at the end of the year and we're going to create a quilt or a wall hanging, or you can just use them as little postcards to give to family and friends. So today is all about the month of February. And for me, the month of February is all about love and Valentine's. So that's the theme I've gone with today. So before we start on this one, I'm just going to give you a little recap. January, I was thinking about, it's always cold in January, so I was thinking about a snow scene with a snowman. So this is kind of where my thought goes each month. As I say, February for me is all about love. So this is made with lots of pink and red scraps and you only need the tiniest bits. It's a great way of using up those tiny little pieces that you've got left over. So I've cut a background piece and I've cut this at five inches by seven inches because if you remember last month, I said to you that we're gonna trim all these down to size when we come to put them together. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to trace this little jug. Now, I'm not a great drawer, so I've drawn out a template. And if I show you here, the template goes both ways. So depending which way you want your jug to face will depend on the template you use. Because we're using Bondaweb, it always flips over the opposite way. And then I've done a little heart template there. So the first thing I'm going to do is trace onto my Bondaweb some hearts and the jug and decide which way round I'm going to go. So I'm just going to sort out some scraps. So I've got reds and pinks. Um, and you can use the really, really tiny scraps. So I think for this one, I'm probably going to use the same fabric as I've used here for the jug. So the first thing I'm going to do is trace the jug and I'm going to go the opposite way this time. So I'm going to trace this top one on here. And I'm going to trace a few of these hearts as well. Now, when you're using Bondaweb, you need to just cut very roughly. I'm just going to find some paper scissors. You just need to cut out your shape roughly, not on the line, just slightly away from the line. And then I'm going to iron this onto the reverse of my pink fabric. I'm going to cut it out and what might have been easier is if I'd used a light box when I was tracing this because I've got a bit of a wobbly line but I'm just going to even that out by cutting that where I want the line to be. As I say you don't have to be a great drawer for this. And then to cut the handle, the hole in the handle, I'm just going to fold it and just nip the end there and then carefully poke the scissors in and just snip very carefully around the inside of the handle. And that's our jug. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little heart on there. So with my Bondaweb that I had the hearts on, I'll get rid of some of these now. I'm going to choose what I'm going to put here on the jug. So I'm probably going to go with 
this lovely bright red here. So again, you can see I'm cutting not on the line. Now I'm cutting on the line. And that's going to go there. So I'm going to continue to cut some hearts and then I'm going to come back and show you how I've placed them all. So what I've done is I've broken the back of the bond web and I've laid the design out on my background fabric as I want it. And for the moment, I've just done three hearts, but you can do as many as you want. And we'll go back to look at the original one and you can see the placement of the hearts that I've done. So if I'm happy with where everything is, I'm just going to use the heat of the iron to melt the glue on the back of the bonder web. And there we are, it's all in place. So you could, when you've done your design, you could go round the edge with a blanket stitch or free motion or however you want to do it, or you could just leave it as it is. Because it's going to be a wall hanging, it's not going to come away from the background fabric. If it was going to be a cushion or a quilt, then I would stitch it down. So you can see, here's the one that I made as the sample. And what I've done here is I've used variegated thread. So we've got some lovely reds and pinks here. And you can see how they change colour as you pull the threads off they all change colour. So I've used one of those and what I've done is I've just drawn the lines roughly as a guide because then I've just done a simple back stitch. So it looks like it's a string of heart balloons or even a bunch of flowers. It can be whatever you want it to be because it's going to be your design. But what I did was I used one of these pens which are iron off and I just drew, once I'd got all my hearts in place, I just drew, using one of these red pens, some lines. So if I'd got another heart here, say, I would not do the string underneath. I would just do the string to where it stops at the heart. That one's got one underneath, but you can see this one and this one haven't. So it's really random. It's however you want it to be. So you draw your lines and this is your guide now for doing your back stitch. And when you're done, this just irons off. Like magic. So if like me, you're not completely accurate with your sewing, if you iron off afterwards, it's gone. So you can make this one with as many hearts as you want, you can go further up or you could put other things around. You could put hearts here. You can do whatever you want. As I always say, make it your own. It's February, so whatever February means to you, you can make your postcard. We're going to have another one in March, so don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss anything. So as always, have fun, and I look forward to seeing you next time here in the sewing studio.